Hi everyone, I'm Colleen Ballinger, this is my sister Rachel Ballinger, and we're gonna do a little story time for you. So, the day we're recording this is Rachel's birthday. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. She's in her 30s, what a woman. What a world, what a woman. I'm surprised I survived this long. I posted some stuff on my Insta story today, like mm -hmm. to celebrate your birthday, some old pictures of us, and one of the pictures I posted was a photo of us dressed like Sally Brown and Lucy from- Your Good Man, your Charlie, good man Brown. Charlie Brown. It's a long story, but I posted and I was like, hey, remember when we were stuck in the basement and I forced you to go to another state to perform in a show with me and they were stuck in a basement the whole time and then we escaped one night and stole an American flag from someone's lawn. Happy birthday! <laughs> Everyone was like, um, can we no can more? Can you explain this please? And I didn't even think I was gonna do that but then Rachel and I were talking about it and she was bringing things up that I do not remember because I have the worst memory of anyone I've ever met in my life. Like, I don't remember anything. I bought yeah, it's scary. Anything traumatic or bad or negative that's happened in my life. It wasn't I just, that no, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. But I just was like, my brain was like, I don't have room for those thoughts. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. So pleasant. like, my brain is so busy that it's like, if it's not pleasant, it just yeah, forgets it. Goes, it. Yes. Make so it we thought we would tell this story mm -hmm. um, because maybe it's interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna tell this story because Colleen doesn't know it. So this is fun. She's viewing it at the same time you guys are. This was a very long time ago. Like yes. you were in high school. I don't know how many details we're allowed to give. We can give deets. You were dating a human. Kind of. I was kind of dating a human. Okay, because that relates to a story okay, yeah. that you don't know anything about yet. <laughs> ah, the tea. Okay, so I was kind of dating this guy, sort of. So he wanted to put on a musical. For, for charity. Some... Oh, it was? Yes, for charity. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. And that. it was over the 4th of July weekend. I do remember that. It was yes. devastating. Oh, it was tragic. So we <laughs> flew to the state that this person lived in. Uh huh. To do the, the. You were performing in it. Yeah. So I went. Oh my God. This is all. Two people with ADHD <laughs> trying to tell a story. <laughs> I went to school with this guy. Oh, and we're going was that far back. Well, okay. just because I just said he lived out of state. It makes no sense. I wasn't okay, great. Say. I was dating this guy sort of in college. Yes. And he, he was going home for a break or summer or something. Summer. Because oh, it summer. was 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, that's when summer happens and so he put on this show and wanted me to be in it yes you weren't in it no i did tech so she would dress like L lucy because we were it was at the fourth of july oh we were fireworks promoting it. and we were sending we were, we were promoting it with flyers yes. and you made me dress up as lucy yes so that's what the, this picture is from that i had posted on mm -hmm. her birthday so all i i will say what i remember okay and then you will tell the story great so all i remember is that i was kind of sort of dating this guy we went up to where he lives in this other state we flew there and we were gonna promote the show on 4th of July. Mm -hmm. We dressed up as the characters, passed out flyers, the show happens, but while we're there, we're staying at my boyfriend's house. Do you remember house. the car breaking down at the fourth of, after the 4th of July in that parking lot? Because his dad would only give him $10 at a time. It was his brother's car, actually. But only give them $10 at a time for gas. And it needed more gas to get back from the fireworks place. So the car ran out of gas and we were stranded. No, I do not remember this. Okay, oh that my God. happened too. So anyway, all I remember is that, first of all, Rachel met a boy there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Little did she know, she was not interested in him. <laughs> but nothing happened. She just like was like, I think I have a crush. And I was like, okay. And then- He um, broke my heart. <laughs> did he? No. <laughs> but while we were there, the parents of the boy that I was- Dating. Were very conservative, mm -hmm. very protective, mm -hmm. and sheltered their kids, which to each his own, like every parent's got to do their own journey. That's mm -hmm. fine. But because of that, they were like girls in the house. Mm -hmm. That's not allowed. Only if they're locked in a basement. That's the only logical thing to do here. So they put us in the basement of their house and it was cold and it was like, they went to bed early and it was like, yes. stay in the basement. We, like it I, was 8 p.m. doors locked. Doors locked, get in bed, go to sleep. In the basement. We had beds, it's not like we were in like a- What dungeon? Dungeon, it was like, it was there was like a guest room down there. But I just remember it being, feeling like we were locked in a basement. Because we, we, we weren't allowed were. to go anywhere. We, we weren't couldn't allowed to go anything. upstairs. Yes, we weren't allowed to go upstairs. We were after 8 p.m we weren't allowed to go upstairs. Not even and, for water, I remember And he so wasn't bad. allowed to come down. Yes. He did though at one point. By the way, this is not like 12 year olds. Like we were in college. They were in college, I was in high school. So. <laughs> I mean, at the time, I was like, this is normal because that kind of was normal for the college we went to. Um, we went to a very conservative college. So this seemed normal, even though it wasn't. Okay, so anyway, that's all I can, I just remember at one point, like mom and dad came up and rescued us from no. this place. This is all I'm saying okay. what I remember, okay. and I know it's all wrong. Yeah. All I can really remember is that we went to Hooters. <laughs> Like, right, the first thing we did when my mom and dad got there was like, we were so sick of being like contained in this house of like oh, sheltered. 
conservative home that we weren't allowed to do anything or say anything or go anywhere or do, we couldn't do anything. When my parents finally got to the town we were in, we saw Hooters driving to the hotel yeah. and mom's like, we she, should go to Hooters. She bought me a tank top. Yeah, I have one too. Yeah, we got tank tops. My dad was very uncomfortable there, but we went to Hooters. And the only other part of the story I remember is that one night Rachel and I were like, we're so sick of this. We snuck out of the house mm -hmm. with no plan and we just ran no around. Car. No car. We just ran around the neighborhood. It was Since it was near 4th of July, there was a, a house that had a bunch of little 4th of July American flags and we took one and we're like, we stole it. And I think we put it back. 100% we put it back. <laughs> That's all I remember. So now Rachel's gonna blow my mind. Do you remember that the shower didn't work right? No. And so it only gave us cold water. So for the entire trip, I was taking ice cold showers. I don't think you showered while we were there, just Probably honestly. Not. And then at the very end, like the last day, he came down and was like, oh, did I forget to mention that you have to do this, this, and this to take warm showers? So I'd taken cold showers this entire week. Oh my God, love that. I know, it was great. And then there was one night when, yeah, I haven't told you this, he snuck down and you two were like in your bed, like whispering. I do not remember this. Yes, and I was annoyed. I had a journal. We have a journal from this trip. <gasps> we do! We have a journal from this trip. You need to find it. I don't know where it is, but we have a journal. And I remember I was journaling. I was like trying to go to sleep, but you guys were whispering and making gross little mouth noises because you were whispering and I hate the noise, the sound of whispering. And so I decided to fake sleepwalk. What? Yes. I don't remember this at all. I can't believe it, Doran. I fake slept walk. I like, it was like, I'm just gonna have some fun. So I shot up in my bed and mumbled some things and then ran out of the room. Cause like there was, the you went down the stairs and there was like a living area and then the guest room next to it. And so I like ran in there and you were like, Rachel? And you went and followed me. And I just started running around saying random things. Cause I was so bored and annoyed. That we were just talking. <laughs> that you were talking and existing. And I was stuck down there and you forced me to be there. Why did I force you to go? Because you said you would be so bored if I didn't, because you no, knew. No, that's true. But then. Mom and dad didn't rescue us, they did. But our cousins and aunt who live like two hours away drove and picked us up and saved us and took us to their house. And mom and dad came and picked us up from there. I do not remember this. They, yes, mom concurred, this happened. I do not remember this in the slightest. That, yes. So we literally called our cousins and said, come get yes. us. That's why our Hooters shirt says, uh, whatever town they live in. Our cousins live in. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yes. This is blowing my mind. So all I know is that like the parents of the guy that I was dating did not like me. No. It was very apparent, very clear. They were not fans of me because they were very conservative and we were too, but just not conservative enough. Like I wasn't like, yeah. I was an outspoken, loud, like we, theater they, kid. And they, oh, they also, I remember in the mornings, I'd be starving. I was just about to say, I remember being very hungry. Because they went to bed at eight and we weren't allowed in the kitchen after that. Mm -hmm. So we, and us, we stayed up till like 3 a.m. and we're hungry mm -hmm. and they didn't live near anything walkable. Mm -hmm. You couldn't walk to anything. So in the mornings I'd be like, okay, finally we're gonna get some food. And they, Eight vitamins for breakfast. Which I don't remember this, but makes perfect sense because this guy, I remember being obsessed with vitamins. He'd eat vitamins all the time. See? To the point where one time our voice teacher told us like one good way to stay healthy is to eat like garlic pills. Like mm. garlic's good for you. So we would have to take garlic pills for like, from our voice teacher always made us take garlic pills if we felt like we were getting sick. To the point where he would eat like garlic pills all day long and he just smelled like garlic 24 seven. Oh. Cause he just like was like garlic pills. I, he was like love vitamins, any sort of pill or vitamin and he would just like eat them like crazy. Yeah. All he did all day was eat vitamins. Well, he was skinny. This makes sense. He didn't Does eat. Does that make you just, skinny? Vitamins no. make you skinny? No, oh, just, just only you, eating vitamins <laughs> and nothing else. A diet of just vitamins. <laughs> don't do that. But yeah, I just remember the parents did not like me. I, I don't remember ever interacting with them. I don't remember what they looked like. I, I don't remember. I think I hid most of the time in the dungeon. Yeah, it was, it really was like, I know it sounds dramatic and it's because we're being dramatic, but it really <laughs> was no. like, it wasn't like, oh, this is a boy and a girl, so they should sleep in separate rooms. It was like, this is the basement. This is where you live. Do not come upstairs. Yes. You are girls. You belong in the basement. Like, and this was before we had like smartphones. We yeah. had flip phones and that was it. So we had no entertainment. I think I played snake on yes. my phone. It was not good. And a journal. I wish I could find that journal. It was a good journal. <sighs> I also remember one time I burnt your um, sweater there by accident because I put it on a lamp and then it burned a hole in it and I still feel bad about it. What? I don't know 
remember any of these stories. Do you remember anything else from this place? I'm trying to remember other things. I haven't thought about this trip in years. I'm so confused by the whole situation. I remember his dad only giving them $10 at a time for gas. And they're like, Dad, can you give us like 50 so we can fill up the tank? And then that way we don't have to keep asking you. But his dad only gave them $10 a day instead of giving them- I don't remember any of this. And one of the boys that we were performing with, Rachel thought was cute. Yes. And nothing happened, but they like, we talked for like three weeks, Colleen. What are you talking like about? Like on the phone? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the drama of it all. <laughs> He's married now and I'm gay. <laughs> All I can say is this is the same boy, I've told stories about this before, is the same boy who broke up with me on my birthday through song. Like his birthday gift to me was, I wrote you a song. And in the song, God told me we can't be together. Thanks for being my best friend, oh, I'm out. Oh God. Uh, Do you remember the song? Yes. I want to thank you, Colleen, Colleen May, for being, being my best friend. friend. Of course I remember the song. Oh I remember gosh. everything you don't. <laughs> I wonder if he'll, he probably will never see this. I hope no. he never sees this. I'd be mortified. I hope you're doing well if you ever <laughs> see this. I hope you're living your best life. You know he's filthy rich. Probably. You know he's got to be filthy yeah. rich at this point. Yeah. He was very, very smart, but... <clears throat> Very, very sheltered. Do you think he's married? Should we look him up? I have tried. <laughs> I don't know how to spell their last name, and that I has do. been my. Well, I would assume. <gasps> Did you I find a it? Twitter account? I, I got a Twitter. Twitter. He hasn't tweeted anything since. Oh, he. Oh, he, he retweeted, retweeted in something. 2020. 20. Computer science. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's like creative. Wait. Go to replies. I want to see if he's tweeted ever replied to anyone. Oh he owns gosh. a company. Private, Private launch. Network. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, he's probably very rich. It looks like he's like launching big like Did you look on Insta? Wait, why does he have two? I bet you he forgot the password to one. He doesn't have an Instagram. Who doesn't have Instagram? Well, we don't know what they're up to now. Oh, darn it. I thought we would get some good investigations got happening nothing. here. Oh my gosh. I that was I thought that was going to be a juicier story. It was just weird, yeah, but I feel like we have weirder stories from college and like that whole time, but that just wasn't like the one time of them. we snuck into the Niggy Azalea's concert by accident. That was the other thing people were wondering, which I feel like we've told that story online before, but maybe we haven't. Well, because it would kind of seem like uh, entitled in it. <laughs> yeah. So the other thing, I, the, one of the other stories I posted was that like we snuck into an Iggy Azalea concert, which we didn't. It was weird. It was like, I was told by her people. We were going to exchange tickets. Yeah. To like, the, we were told sh um, she wanted to, Miranda Sings tickets and then. Like the promoter's daughter wanted Miranda Sings tickets and they would something. give us yeah, Iggy tickets. Yeah, they give us Iggy tickets. Um, we're like, yeah, sounds great. And then like, also, can you dress up like Miranda and stand outside the Iggy concert? and be in character for the whole day interviewing all of Iggy's fans and post a video about it to promote Iggy's tour. Yeah. And I said, no, I couldn't because I didn't have a full day off. Like we yeah. were on tour, so I was busy and I couldn't spend a whole day dressed like Miranda on the streets interviewing all her fans. Yes. So I said, no, I can't do that actually. We're, our, we're all booked. And then I didn't hear back and I was like, okay, whatever. And so then when we got there, we got to the concert and- well, Late because we forgot that it was that day. We thought it was the next day. Oh yeah, that's true. And we had to figure out how to get there in London. But we, we were in London. But we got tickets. Yeah, we're in London. We got tickets for them. We got tickets for them for my show. My show happened. Yeah. And then we went to the concert to um, get our tickets. And they're like, there's nothing under your name. And I yeah. was like, oh, no, there should be. And so then I started messaging the person who said they gave us tickets. And they were totally ghosting me, not responding. And I was like, dang it. And I was like, I promise you, they said they were going to leave us tickets. Yeah. And like, we'll go ask the person you said you spoke to. So they yeah. went and spoke to and they're like, no, they said you, they don't have tickets for you. And I was like, <laughs> they're mad that I didn't do the yeah. video. That's, I think they were upset that I was like, I can't yeah. film the video and like use it to promote your tour. But you gave them tickets to the Miranda show. Well, which was the original transaction. Yes, I'm aware. Then we were like, are you sure? I'm pretty sure. And we just didn't let it go. No. <laughs> we just stayed at the box and we're like, mm, we're pretty sure we have tickets. And they were like, <laughs> they said no. And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Tickets. I think we do ask again and we just didn't leave and then <laughs> the concert was starting and they were finally like just okay, go in. just go in and they let us in even though we definitely did not have tickets they did not want us there it was a weird concert it was weird she like stopped in the middle of it a few times yeah it was like the tech was all wrong and it wasn't in like a concert venue it was, it was in, like a, theater. a classic theater and so yeah. everyone was like sitting yes it was very strange chairs but it was like an Iggy concert so you but it was like, like a maybe 300 max seat theater it was bigger than that but it was pretty small it was really small but it was fun. I really I mean, love Iggy 
probably helped with 300. Yeah. I was gonna say. It was probably a thousand. Yeah. I love her music and so, and I love her. Yeah, so we had fun. We had a blast, but it was not. We bought merch. <laughs> we bought the merch. Yeah, we're like, maybe this will make up for it. <laughs> we didn't sneak in per se. We just like Nagged persistently way said like, no, we know we have tickets. <laughs> we have tickets. We do, until finally they're like, fine, you have tickets, go. They're like, we don't care. So anyway, that's the behind the scenes of the birthday posts I had for Rachel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of like nothing not very exciting, but we're not very exciting. So, uh, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Rachel and all the things and subscribe to me and all the things and we'll see you next time.